Hi guys, so um, I wasn't able to go live on Instagram. Um, the T-Mobile towers have been, I guess, down the last day and a half. Um, so I'm just doing this on my cell phone. Um, I know I posted in my Instagram story that I was gonna do it live. Tried, I tried like three times and it didn't work. So here we are. Um, if you're watching this, you're either watching this on my YouTube channel, the Red Cheetah Yoga YouTube channel, uh, or you're on um, Nikki the Fairy on Instagram. So welcome to my monthly video for Lunarly. Um, so those of you who might not be familiar, Lunarly is the um, monthly subscription box uh, that I subscribed to for a long time and now I do, um, I'll teach some meditations for them here and there. And yeah, so that's my history with Lunarly. I was just, you know, a normal customer like all the rest of you. So this is my dog. Sparkles the unicorn dog. The bone is really good, right, buddy? <laughs> so it wouldn't be a complete video without him being present. Um, so what I like to do every month is I like to open up um, my box live um, for you guys to watch. Of course, this time it's recorded, so it's not live. So I apologize for that, but it is storming outside. And t Wall's towers are down. So opening my box. All right, so ah, this is always my oh, favorite part of this. I do recognize I could have waited until um, connection, you know, came around, but I just didn't want to. I'm too excited. So here is um, my amazing surprise box, which I'm not going to get to quite yet. I'm going to open the candle first. So I can always tell when the boxes are this size, the small, square, compact size that there um it's gonna be a candle this time in the last candle you guys so we did a plant last month the month before was a candle for the flower moon best candle i think i've ever smelled in my life like i'm not even exaggerating i'm actually really really picky about candles and um yeah their candles really really high quality and the they always smell amazing oh my god i think this one's lavender it smells so good Mm. Oh, do you want to smell it, Bobby? It smells so good. Yeah, it smells so good. It doesn't smell so good. Can you give the kisses? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited to read about this. So I don't think it says. No, it doesn't have the ingredients on it. I'm going to have to open up the other box to find out. I'm smelling. I'm getting a hint of lavender, so I'm really, really pumped. Oh, it smells so good. So I always wait to. Um, so those of you who don't know what Lunarly is, um, why it's called Lunarly, Lunar, meaning moon. And look, there's the moon on the box, all nice and printed. Um, this follows the moon cycle. So um, this is a practice I've been doing for years now and it actually helps me a lot. So if you wanna do something just really simple um, that will just get you started in a moon ritual um, tradition, on the new moon, you make intentions for new things. It can be like wishes and dreams and goals that you want to accomplish, whether it's for you personally or for like your immediate family or for your community or for the globe. Um, I always try to write something for each of those categories and another category is also my company too, which is Red Cheetah Yoga. Um, so the new moon is a time to manifest because um, you want to think like clear slate in the sky there's not a, a there isn't a moon there the sky is black it's a clean clean slate so that's when you know what do you want to put on that clean slate and then during the new moon or excuse me the full moon is um uh like looking at yourself really deep sorry that's my dog walking on the table i'm on my bed i don't have a living room in my house because my house is super small <laughs> i just have a really big bedroom and a really big kitchen and a tiny bathroom that's it um so where was I? So the full moon time of the month is when um, you take a good long hard look at yourself and get present to you know what can I let go of? You know whether it's like actually physically discarding things in your space like a lot of um, people who follow moon cycles like to get rid of physical things. Um, I constantly have a goodwill bag going um, and I'm constantly getting rid of things in my house. Um, but it's really more looking inward. Like, okay, what, how have I been showing up? How have I been being? That um, I can, you know, just let things go. It's also a great time to meditate. And it's not unusual for people to get, like, 
anxious or irritable or unreasonable during the time of the full moon. So it also depends on what sign those moon those moons each of them the new and the full are moving in. So not, not so quick synopsis of moon rituals and you can create your own moon ritual however you want. Mine started out with um, actually really complicated like taking these amazing meditation courses. All right, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so every box, every month comes with this beautiful, it's like a tarot card. So the next moon is called the Buck Moon. So the moon is actually, the name is actually for the full moon. Um, but in the context of what we're doing here, um, I consider each of these moons to be the Buck Moon because it's like, you know, that time period or like that season for that moon cycle. So the next new moon is June 21st, which is uh, right around the corner, actually. Um, I think that's Monday or Sunday. Is it Father's Day? I don't remember, but it's coming. It's very soon. So it's beautiful imagery on their cards. Um, and it says around this time each year, the young bucks begin to sprout their soft velvety horns, reaching their full potential. Activate your own growth with the buck moon. An intention to inspire. <laughs> It looks so funny back there. An intention to inspire. Standing tall, my heart is open to growing taller. No negativity will bring me down. I am fearless. I feel like this is really, really powerful um, for what the whole world is really going through right now between the, uh, you know, the biggest civil rights movement probably in history now is what we're looking at. Um, coupled with a uh, modern day pandemic, you know, it's really important to not let things bring you down and to be fearless. So there's that, amazing. I always keep this by the way in my, um, I have like my journaling spot um, right where I have breakfast every morning and I always keep this card facing this way so I can always like do a quick check to see um, what the date is currently and if I have to um, do any kind of new journaling exercises and, um, and then I always read these intentions to kind of get present and centered back. So, Sparkles is on the floor because he's jealous the cat is in the bed. Sorry, I keep hitting the, um, the stand. So here is a beautiful little pamphlet you get with every single um, box. So it has the name of the moon on it. I actually keep all of these because when you get your first box, you'll also get a moon journal. So I um, I stick these, when the moon is complete, um, I stick the card into its moon and the, this goes into the journal right away um, as soon as I flip to that page in the journal. So, oh, I was dead on with the, with the candle. So the um, candle, the bark moon candle, is called Rise and Shine and it contains eucalyptus, lavender, and rosemary which is probably why I love it so much because lavender and rosemary are actually two of my favorite scents ever. Eucalyptus is for connection and healing and lavender is for calm and grace. Rosemary is for happiness and love. This restorative combination of scents invites you to take a break and breathe a little peace into your spirit. With notes of rosemary, lavender, and eucalyptus, this candle has a powerful aroma that will perk up your energy and help you draw focus to the moment. Let this candle awaken a sense of renewal within. Light it, take in the invigorating sense, and think about all the ways you can shine in the month ahead. So I, like I said earlier, I always wait to light my candle um, on the actual new moon. And I usually do a whole like, you know, kind of a private ceremony, unless I'm doing a meditation for Lunar Lee on that day. Um, I usually do like a little private ceremony. All right. So, and then you open up the pamphlet and it actually has listed a description and a photograph um, of all of the items in the box. So I'm not going to look at that because I want to be surprised. And first thing I pull out today is, oh, I'm so excited, a little bit of dreams. So um, we're getting a dream book this time. So this is a dream interpretation book. So it's not a dream um, journal. So, which is interesting because my dreams have been very intense, especially since um, COVID-19. 
And um, I just had some really interesting ones I was sharing with my best friend earlier this week. So I will definitely be perusing this later. I feel like these are always really good tools and resources to have around, especially if you have very vivid and intense dreams like I do. And the energy of those dreams can be transferred into um, my normal day and my normal daily routine. So dream book. Yay. Be excited. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Selenite. Look how gorgeous, how the light shines off of that. Ah, my hand is literally tingling holding this crystal. So selenite is actually considered the stone of the moon. Selen, selenite, selene, uh, was actually the moon goddess. I want to say in Greek mythology, I could have that wrong, but selene means moon. Um, so this is an incredible stone actually that um, raises the vibration wherever it is. Um, vibration just meaning, you know, make uplifting things, making things um, more meaningful and powerful um, and just more positive in general. Um, not that negativity is bad, negativity just is, positivity just is. Um, when you start looking really deep into spirituality and spiritual uh, themes. So this to me is also a crystal of angelic energy, like very high vibrational energy. Um, above the vibrational energy of humans, above the vibrational energy of, um, of like the, the fey realm, which would be, you know, the fairies and other like nature spirits. So this is really like resonates with the energy of the universe. I'm excited to meditate with this baby later. I'm so excited. All right. So other goodies. Mm. Oh, you guys want us to calm down this time. <laughs> I actually really appreciate that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so. I'm allowed to do that. Mm. I'm definitely using this tonight. Deep sleep pillow mist. Lavender. So grateful for all the lavender goodies this time around. Amazing. I feel like, um, here's what my experience of my Lunar Lee has been so far. It hit the nail on the head every single time. I just can't believe that they're so in tune with everything that that's going on. Like, I feel like I've needed some tools to help just invite in more serenity and calm into my life. So, oh my gosh. Wait, I know this stone. This is a really powerful stone. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Look at that. Look how beautiful. It's been a really long time since I've worked in a um, crystal shop. Um, so the name of this is right on the tip of my tongue. And it's not coming to me right now. I used to have all these stones memorized. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. It's Lepidolite. Oh, you guys. Okay. I'm just at a loss for words with how perfect this stone is. So you guys are probably familiar if you're if you're new to all of this hippie stuff. Um, you know, like I call it mystical. That's just my word for it. It's a mystical spirituality in my language. Um, it doesn't mean that's what it always is for everybody. Um, but you guys are probably familiar with amethyst being a really powerful stone for serenity and peace. Lepidolite is like this is gonna be a little bit of an oxymoron, but lepidolite is like the absolute like granddaddy of that sparkles are you okay sparkly this sounded terrible eat slower eat slower drink some water I'm messing up the video okay sorry about that <laughs> lipidolite is amethyst on steroids is what I was trying to say um, so lipidolite is an incredibly powerful stone. I love that we got two crystals in this month's box. Um, I'm actually really excited to meditate with them both together. My hands are actually tingling, putting them really close together. So it has this really soft, like purple color and it has these, um, this is raw lipidolite. So it has these really nice, um, edges and ridges in it. That's catching the light really, really lovely. Uh, so let me read what it has in here about the two stones specifically. So if you're going through a shift, lipidolite is a stone to bring along. And aren't we all going through a shift? I'm actually looking at like 
you know, taking on like new, really amazing jobs that I never would have done before. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop teaching yoga and doing CrossFit and personal training. It's just a big shift is happening in my life. It's probably true for a lot of you guys too. It's said to be the, a stone of transition that makes releasing the old and accepting the new easier to handle. It helps you elevate your mindset to see how you can better how you can better yourself through positive change. So one thing you can do with this, I know when the full or the new moon comes, <clears throat> I will definitely have both of these crystals with me. I'll probably I'll hold them in my receiving hand, which is my left hand, and I'll do a meditation holding them. I'll journal before I do that actually. And then after I do my meditation, I'll light my candle here. And I'll put this on my altar. So lapidolite. And now selenite, the selenite stick. I'll read what they have written down. Uh, selenite is like a shower for your energy. Oh, what a great image. In fact, it's such a powerfully cleansing stone. It can be used to cleanse and charge the energy of other crystals. Did you guys know that? So you can actually put, for example, I want to cleanse my lapidolite, which you should always do. Um, even though I'm sure this is a very high vibrational company, it has to be. You should still cleanse your stones when you get them from Lunar Leaf, just so that you can take off anyone else's energy who might have been handling it in the handling process and the shipping process. Um, so that is just clear and clean for your energy and your energy alone. And this is actually one way you can cleanse your crystals. So I'm actually, um, that's a great reminder, I'm actually going to do that with a lot of my other stones, especially the ones from Lunar Leaf that I've gotten that are so amazing. Named after the Greek word for moon. There we go. That's the answer that I was looking for. It has a vibrant light energy. So it's the Greek word for moon. It wasn't a goddess. So I apologize for that. Um, so amazing. So much of this uh, month's boxes themes is around dreaming. It's around good sleep. It's around serenity and it's around calm. It's around cleansing, transitions. What a great theme. This is one thing I love about my Lunar Release boxes is um, that they're so good around creating their themes um, for each box. Uh, like last month was uh, the Strawberry Moon and everything was centered around that amazing theme. And now this one, you know, think of the buck with the, with the brand new growth of the antlers on their head. So um, yeah, guys, if you haven't ordered your box. I think this one right now is sold out. But like I said, Lunarly hits the nail on the head with every single um, box I've gotten. Um, I know I have a whole new skincare routine thanks to Lunarly and all the amazing products that they've sent. Like I've gotten masks. I got a gua sha stone. Um, two kinds of masks actually. Two kinds of face serums, um, which I'm almost done with the second bottle, and it's it's literally turning my life around. I'm not a big fan of subscription boxes, but when this one hit the scene, I knew this was the one I had to get involved in. So, check it out. Order your box. Hopefully you can get your hands on a Buck Moon box, but if not, that's okay, because you'll get one next month. And yeah, tune in to my Lunar Leap, because they've been doing amazing meditations on their Instagram. So, check them out. The Day of the New Moon and peace and love and serenity and transformation to all of you. Um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys.